let's do something interesting today. Today, we're going to talk about the ancient Korean radiant floor smoke heating system called Ondel. It actually dates back 5,000 years. Ondel is a radiant floor heating system that uses smoke from a fire lit outside or beside a building to heat the entire building. It's extremely efficient with only a small fire using very little wood capable of heating a large building up to a thousand square feet or larger in extremely cold temperatures. Being Korean, these floors have been used to heat buildings in winter in temperatures, believe it or not, down to minus 20 degrees Celsius, which is pretty cold. Now that's not Canadian cold, but it's cold enough to show this system does work. And in this video, we're gonna explore how the system works, the pluses and minuses of the system, and how you yourself could construct one DIY. Simple Tech, that's the name of this channel. And if you like content like this, hit the like and subscribe buttons to tell YouTube's algorithm that you want YouTube to suggest you more content like this. And if you want to see me actually build stuff like this, help a guy out with the thanks button below. Anything helps and is always hugely appreciated. Basically, Ondel is a floor. It's a radiant floor that uses smoke instead of liquid to heat the floor as a thermal mass. We're familiar with liquid and electrically heated floors in North America. They're actually quite common. Ondel uses smoke and a thermal mass, and that's something different and interesting to heat your floor. There are some pluses and minuses to the Ondel construction, but reality is Ondel construction must be credited as the origin of radiant floor heating. It's been used by regular common folk Koreans and their royalty in their palaces for centuries. So this is a highly proven and tested technology in Korea, although it's rare in North America. The concept is actually very similar to current technology with radiant heat, liquid heating, but it's dumbed down and made to capture heat from a fire smoke. Simple technology at its best. Anyone familiar with heating by a wood stove knows the chimney gets extremely hot and some of that heat does radiate into the building, but most escapes up the chimney and is lost to outside air. An Ondo floor captures that heat and uses it like a rocket mass heater to store and slowly release your heat into your building, even after the fire goes out for many hours where and when you need it. An Ondo floor is similar to something we use today called a rocket mass heater but where the floor itself is the mass. A rocket mass heater uses its hot smoke exhaust to heat up a large thermal mass object in a room, and then that object will slowly radiate the heat out back into the room for many hours after the fire has gone out. It allows one to use a small amount of wood to heat a large space for many hours in a cold climate. The biggest advantage of a rocket mass heater is time. The amount of time it takes for the mass to cool down allows one to sleep through the night without actually having to get up every couple hours and stock the fire, put more wood on the fire to keep heat in your house. This advantage is twofold, allowing you to get a full night's sleep and using much less wood to heat your space, which over time the course and the course of a winter, it's a lot of wood that you're going to save. And that's a lot of work that you're going to save. The disadvantage with a rocket mass heater, in most cases, is you have to bring the wood inside and the main fire is inside your house. Now, this can be an advantage too, as it can give you a hot stove top on which to cook or boil water, but it's also a disadvantage. If you get the air draw wrong and smoke is sucked into your house, as much as people think they're experts, this happens to everyone once in a while and it's not a pleasant experience. Smoke stinks, and it's not good for your health to breathe in either. Although I'm not against wood heat, I'm actually of the opinion it's much better to have a fire burning outside than inside a house. Despite all the romantic possibilities of sitting beside a crackling fire on a cold winter night, boiling milk for your hot cocoa on your wood stove just before bed, 
Interestingly, my insurance company actually agrees with me, offering me a much lower insurance rate for my outside wood boiler than if I had an indoor wood stove. Many insurance companies won't even insure a rocket mass heater, but it's slowly getting better. Now, a rocket mass heater is designed to get much higher temperatures, thus the rocket term, whereas an ondo floor uses a regular fire, like a fireplace fire with normal fire temperatures. Using a rocket mass heater with an ondo floor might actually get the floor too hot, and one has to walk on that floor. Ouch! A regular fire, when everything is sized right, gets the floor nice and toasty, but not too hot as to burn your feet and cook you alive. What are the temperature differences? Good question. Considering the Ondo floors have been used in Korea for something like 5,000 years, it's clear the concept works without getting too hot and seems to actually hold enough heat in the minus 20 degrees Celsius Korean winters to keep a house warm till the morning after the fire burns out late in the evening. It makes sense. When you just look at how much thermal mass there is in an Ondo floor, and if one insulates their home properly, it seems very possible and plausible to heat like this. So building an ondo floor is interesting and it mostly relies on brick arranged in channels to direct the smoke through the floor before exhausting it on the other side of the house. Now traditional ondo floors seem to have little by way of insulation below the smoke channels but any modern installation would of course incorporate insulation under the smoke channels as Insulation can multiply your long-term heating results with a thermal mass. The thing that makes it work is the thermal mass. And you get that thermal mass from bricks, clay, and your floor tiles. The floor tiles must be airtight as no one wants smoke in your house. But modern and ancient construction of the floors with tile and grout seem to work great with Ondel. When you consider the actual amount of material the bricks and concrete and tiles are, it's actually a huge thermal mass and one that's distributed pretty evenly throughout your structure. Light a fire in an outside fireplace and you're good for heat through the night. What I like about the Ondo design is it would work great for greenhouses. You light one fire at night and the floor keeps your plants warm all night. Something about having a fire inside my greenhouse itself always bothered me. And it's why I actually heat my own greenhouse now with a liquid thermal mass radiant floor, but an outside wood boiler. The Ondo design would use much less wood than my outside wood boiler does though. And the design is extremely appealing for a future greenhouse I plan to build, even if as a backup heating system for a greenhouse heated by other methods. It's simple, easy, and even in a disaster situation without electricity, propane, or petro, Firewood isn't that hard to get and keep everything running as the system really requires no modern technology to run and operate. I have not seen a greenhouse with an Ondo floor yet, but if you know of one, please let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear about it. I'm thinking that construction would consist of an aircrete insulation on the ground as that stuff is heat and fireproof and the best for applications like this. About three to four inches of half inch crushed gravel packed well on top and then smallish bricks or the like arranging channels for the smoke to cross the floor evenly before ejecting into a chimney on the other side of the house. I'd run PEX through the gravel so as to have another heating option, a liquid radiant floor for a second heating possibility. The top of course would be concrete sidewalk blocks because I like how cheap they are again and that would give a substantial amount of thermal mass in this system. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this design to use an Ondo floor as backup heating system or a main heating system affordably for a greenhouse build as backup heating systems are actually essential if one wants to heat a greenhouse through the winter and be prepared for whatever might actually happen. I get some of my best ideas from you guys and I love your comments and suggestions. Hope to see you the next time and make sure you check out my archives for more greenhouse heating and cooling ideas.